Once you've finished the Colors of Chemistry experiment, you can use what you learned to discover if materials in your home are acids or bases. You'll need four clean cups or test tubes, phenolphthalein, and samples of things from around the house you think might be acids or bases. I'm going to use lemon juice, milk, seltzer water, and vinegar. All you need to do is put some of each of your sample liquids into a cup, and then add two or three drops of the phenolphthalein. I feel like lemon juice is going to be acidic. Milk doesn't feel acidic or basic to me, so I'm going to say maybe just neutral, but maybe basic? I don't know. It seems like chill in my mouth. And then... I'm pretty sure that this has got some acid in it because it's got dissolved carbon dioxide. And then vinegar! Pretty sure that's an acid, too. Phenolphthalein turns pink in the presence of a base and stays clear in the presence of an acid. So based on that, we can figure out what our samples are. And I add two or three to my lemon juice here. Nothing happened. Two or three to our milk. Also nothing. Two or three to our seltzer water. Nothing. Two or three to our vinegar. And nothing. You can really see it just vanishing in there. Well, that was super boring, so I'm gonna add a fifth cup, you guys. And here is some glass cleaner. I've looked at the ingredients, and I feel like we should get a better result from this guy. Now, we're not gonna put a ton of stuff in here, because once you put a little bit in, you'll note that there is a smell coming off of it, and that smell is ammonia which makes me definitely think we're going to see a color change reaction here. As with all of the things we do here, adult supervision. Also, don't mix this with those things. That could go bad. So we don't need to put a ton in here to see. Let's just get one or two drops of phenolphthalein and see what happens. Ooh, that is an immediate purple that we have, because this was blue, and the pink of the phenolphthalein is mixing together to make a really pretty purple. Now, when you're done with this experiment, make sure to empty every cup separately. Do not mix them all together before you pour them down the drain, because you never want surprise chemical reactions.